What's up guys, welcome back to yet another upload on the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing an install video, and it's a little bit of a modification to our roof nest condor here. We're gonna get into what we're gonna be doing. So those of you that have the roof nest condor or the condor XL, um, may know, if you don't know already, I'm gonna tell you that they slot and they design the tents to house a solar panel. Yes, a solar panel. Um, this is something I wanna do when we go off the grid camping, that way we have power to uh, power our Jackery or any of our other USB accessories. Now I'm making this upload because when I was doing my own research, when I was trying to figure out you know, what solar panel to run, you know, how to mount it, etc., there wasn't really much feedback on it and I reached out and you know I got some feedback so with the details that I have I'm gonna film this upload I hope it helps everybody this specifically um, this solar panel is a Renogy 100 watt it's a flexible version so I got the flex you can get the uh, other few different kinds of versions the 100 watt will fit the Condor that's the, that's the smaller version of the Condor series just just the Condor pretty well um, I'm pretty sure it'll fit the, the XL as well, obviously being bigger. Um, I'm not sure if the solar panel slot that they designed is the same size on the XL as it is the Condor. However, if it's larger, maybe you can fit a larger solar panel, but for this Condor, we're gonna be running the 100 watt. So yeah, I did my research. I couldn't really find much details on, you know, what solar panel to run and pair that I can charge my Jackery with and, and, and power the Jackery if needed, right? With all that being said, with my research, I found this adapter that I'll be linking in the description. This guy is by Solar Enz, uh, ENZ, Solar Energy, um, which I will be linking in the description. This Jackery, this will connect from the Renogy, specifically the Renogy solar panel, to the Jackery. I'm not knowledgeable if, that, if it will fit other solar panels, all I know is that for certain that this Renogy solar panel or any Renogy solar panel will work with this adapter to go to a Jackery uh, power unit. All right, guys, so we're going to be unboxing the Renogy solar panel here. Like I said, I opted for the flexible version. I will link it in the description. It's the Renogy solar panel. It's a flexible version. I opted for that just because I thought it would, you know, match the roof of the tent better. Um, and we also have this adapter here that we're gonna unbox as well that specifically makes the Renogy solar panels, um, their line of solar panels to the Jackery or any Jackery um, unit that you get from them. I'm specifically running a Jackery Explorer 240. I plan on upgrading to a larger one someday, but this solar panel and this combination with this adapter should work just fine to charge that um, you know, off the grid in an off grid situation. Again, this is a 100 watt version. Um, I'm not sure if you can fit a larger one. I know they make smaller ones like a 50 watt um, and so on, but this is a 100 watt version that we'll be taking out of the box and mounting on our roof nest condor. But first we're gonna unbox it and we're gonna actually set it up with the Jackery um, off the truck to just make sure it works and that the, the adapter works properly. So here is the flexible 100 watt Renogy solar panel out of the box. This is the back side of it from what it appears to be. This looks to be the waterproof adapters now, um, the wires for each side here. And this is what we're gonna be adapting to this kit that we bought to this adapter that'll go to the Jackery. So just from the looks of it, I've, I don't have much you know, experience with solar panels. However, this is a flexible version. As you can see, it's pretty flimsy, like you can actually flex it. Um, so actually this is the back side here and obviously this is the cell so this has to go up. These connectors I know are all waterproof I believe. Um, so you don't have to worry about these getting you know damaged from rain and, and stuff like that. So with all that being said let's hook it up make sure it works and uh, figure out how we're going to get it on the roof nest tent. Alright so here is the adapter kit that we bought to go to the Jackery. Um, one thing to pay attention here. You can note that the there's a positive side and obviously there's a negative side, right? So your positive side is noted with the plus symbol here and the negative symbol is on this side. So that way you know, you can tell which one is which. Here's your adapter. It's your red wire and your ground is obviously the black. The black will go to the negative, the red will go to the positive. Let's get this hooked up. And this looks like the special Jackery mount. 
the adapter that we needed to go to the Jackery from the solar panel. So this will just plug in to the Jackery in the input where you normally charge. All right guys, so everything's connected. These just clip into the Renogy harness on each side, positive and negative. Then you wanna uncap this connector and plug the other connector into the Jackery and there you can see it, it's starting to charge the Jackery. Um, we're not in full sunlight right now, but it's just, you know, using the solar technology and this is just a proof that this works and now we can actually figure out how to mount this on top of the tent. I haven't really decided whether I want the connectors on the rear or towards the front. I think I want them towards the front because it seems like the tent tapers off more that way. That way I can route the wires underneath the tent um, and, and to the front here so that way we can just charge the jacket whenever we need um, instead of having them over here. So I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. Make sure you clean your surface pretty well. I've cleaned mine. Um, I'm gonna 3M adhesive the solar panel down. That's a 3M double-sided tape. I'll show you that, guys, in a second. But this is where the location is that Roofness um, generously, you know, makes their hard shell tents around in case you wanna put a solar panel on it. And I know there's been a lot of questions. How, well, how are you gonna mount it? How are people mounting it? Um, I see numerous threads on it, but here's the video of me doing it. You guys can take my advice or not, it's up to you. But this is where I'm gonna be mounting my Renogy solar panel on the roof nest condor. All right guys, so before I actually mount that solar panel, I wanted to film this. And I was just pondering, you know, how am I gonna route the wires down the tent here? So now when the tent is open, you gotta remind, yeah, remind yourself the tent's gonna come open this way, like this, right? So as you can see, I got the wires dangling there. I'm gonna be using these guys, these little black uh, stick-on squares that can be used to wire tie or zip tie your wires onto certain um, surfaces. I'm gonna actually 3M this because I don't think this will be good for um, the outside. So I'm gonna 3M a few of these on there and route the wires down. You don't wanna, I don't wanna stuff them underneath the tent because then the tent will never be able to open. So I'm gonna use some of these to route the wires down and to zip tie the wires nice and neat too. That way we can use our jackery and plug in with our adapter whenever need be. So here is the panel on the back side here. I have 3M mounted the tape on here and make sure you get the strong 3M, the dual purpose one. Um, but I ran out of tape, so hopefully this all holds well and dandy. Um, we're going to find out in a second. So let's put this on and mount our little squares to mount our wires. All right, guys. So I've successfully mounted the Reynolds Lee panel to my Condor. Now here's what I did with the wiring. If you can see that, I've kind of put these stick-on square pieces, 3M'd them to the side of the tent here, routed my wires down. It's really nice and neat. Sure if you can see that I'll get up there and take another shot of how it looks but now when the tent is folded down these wires will be even closer to me um, right in here like underneath the awning and I can just plug and play to the jackery when need be now I think all these connectors and all these wires are all like IP6 rated I believe it's what it's called like weather rate rated so uh, I did put some extra jacketing on the top there um, to protect the wires a little bit more but it should be good All right, guys, that completes the install. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope this helped a lot of you guys out with figuring out how to mount a solar panel to the top of your condor tent um, and how to, to wire it and make it work with a jackery. Now, there's several other options out there, um, but this is the way I'm doing it just because it's simple, and this is how I'm going to run it with the jackery um, power inverter units. So give this video a big thumbs up. Like, subscribe, more content on the way. Thank you.